So there's a little clip then of, of Dizzy's music. Tell me about that song. And um, I, I mean, I asked the guys, the management, you know, what, yeah. what shall I play a clip of? And, and this was the song that they sent me. So tell me yeah. the story of that. Well, this is the latest one. Uh, this one we've prepared for, for a long time. Um, the song I had it written for like about two years uh, it was already recorded but i had this 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 image in my head of 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 how the video should look like um it took it took a lot of effort and i luckily i had some guys some some close friends that were ready to put down money to invest in the video mm -hmm. uh because of 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 the nature of the song uh borderline criticizes the 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 political um um situation that's happening right now in morocco so People were kind of scared of yeah. getting involved yeah, with it, yeah, yeah. but I think Alhamdulillah it turned out to be a to be a big song and people liked it because uh, borderline criticizes the 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 political um, um, situation that's happening right now in Morocco. So people were kind of scared of yeah. getting involved yeah, with it, yeah, yeah. but I think Alhamdulillah it turned out to be a to be a big song and people liked it because I feel like it balances between the mainstream sound what people enjoy to listen to in clubs and radio but mm -hmm. at the same time it has some content in it like it speaks about stuff it speaks about what's happening right now mm. um so, yeah. which i guess is is important for a rapper isn't it to come exactly. you know, come across with something that is meaningful um rashid this song um how has it been received around the world in, in london especially? <laughs>